Welcome back to Minis for Pennies. I'm your host, Poor Andy, better known as the Dungeon Miser, because I hate spending money on expensive hobbies. If you saw last week's episode, you know that I love treasures that fight back, and one of the most famous fighting treasures is the Mimic, everybody's favorite treasure box that turns into a monster. Of course, I do make my own Mimic. However, when I search around YouTube for Mimic instructions, I have found plenty of tutorials on YouTube for making your own Mimics. So rather than duplicate their work, I want to show you some Mimic alternatives that also use common toy treasure boxes. One of my favorite comics from Japan is called Dungeon Meishi, or Delicious in Dungeon, and it's about a party of adventurers that eat monsters to save money and time when exploring the dungeon. In this comic book, mimics aren't shapeshifters, but a type of crustacean that uses chests and other pieces of furniture like a shell, sort of like a hermit crab. To make this crustacean type mimic, you want to find a toy crab or a lobster or whatever fits the size of your treasure box. I'm going to snip off the claws so that I can give them a more aggressive pose and I also snip off all of the little legs. I advise pinning whenever possible. To make the crab look more monstrous, I took two of the little legs that I cut off and glued them to the face, like fangs, crusty fangs. Next I take a novelty spider and snip off the legs. I try to keep the legs together because it is easier to pose them in clusters later. I also want the head of the spider so that gets snipped off as well. Once you have the head of the spider, flip it over and glue it to the underside of the crab to form another set of fangs and an aggressive set of jaws. When you have that in place, then you can snip the legs into pairs. To bulk out the body, I glued the leftover spider butt inside the chest so that the crab wouldn't sit too deeply inside. Uh, then I started stuffing spider legs into the chest around the crab body. You can rearrange a bit while the glue is still setting until you like it. And then when the glue is set, you can take the little crab legs and glue them around the rim of the chest underneath the crab in the spaces between the spider legs. Finally, I glued the treasure box to the base, tilted at an angle, and let the mini lean forward on the spider legs. I capped the chest and the crab's head with the lid, sort of like a loose hat. And then when the glue is set, this is going to need a prime with Mod Podge all over, and then it's ready for primer and paint. It's not a traditional mimic, but it's still a very scary beast. For the cost, the crab was 5 pennies, the treasure box was 25 pennies, the spider was 3 pennies, 
then a penny for the base and a penny for the art supplies, so 35 pennies or three for a dollar. So when I think about evil things in treasure chests, I am reminded of the myth of Pandora's box. The story of a girl who opened a supernatural container and let all sorts of evil spirits out. A box full of evil spirits sounds like a monster to me. This project is similar to the crab mimic and it's a good way to use some leftover Halloween skulls and some of the monster heads I have left over from other projects. I'm using a chunky skull ring and about nine heads from various zombie figures. To hold everything together I glue in a block of scrap wood and drill some holes in it to pin the skull and some of the heads. When the skull is pinned in I can start pinning heads all around it. When those are in I can stack a few more heads on top and into the gaps. When all the heads are how I like them, I'll have a few remaining gaps around that and you can still see the wood and such inside the chest. So to fill those remaining gaps I use kitty litter from the Elementals episode. If you don't have kitty litter you can also use flocking, sawdust, sand, or whatever you have. Hit it with the Mod Podge and it's ready for prime and ghostly paint. So here's the cost for this nightmare fuel. It was 10 pennies for the skull, 25 pennies for the box, 18 pennies for the heads, a penny for the base, and a penny for the art supplies. So 55 pennies or two for a dollar. So you can see this technique has a lot of potential. If you don't have the crab, but you do have the spider, you can make a trapdoor spider that lives in a chest. If all you have is regular skulls, then have a box of regular skulls. You can have just about any giant bug or undead thing popping out of that box. In fact, it doesn't even need to be a box. It could be a big jar or a barrel keg or a cabinet or underneath a bed or whatever you have. You can mix and match this one all day. Thanks for watching and let me know what you would like to see more of in the comments. I'll do my best to keep showing you how to get more minis for pennies.